Thank you, Brother Bill, for that good and um, oh, I'm lost for words already. <laughs> uh, announcement there. Um, the gospel is a subject this week, or this week, um, and I'm going to start out with Luke 2:10. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. We have a Savior, a King, and that is great joy. God sent his only begotten Son to be born here on earth to live among us, to teach by word and by example, and to be our Savior. Jesus was in the world, but he was not of the world. He was not tempted or he was tempted, but he did not sin. Jesus was here to do his Father's work to please him. He never turned from God. I'm in the world, and I was also of the world. If Jesus had not come down here, living, leaving his heavenly realm to live as a mortal man, teaching us what we had to do to be saved, and then willingly sacrificing for my sins, I would still be living in Babylon. I would have no peace, no rest, no comfort, and no hope for eternal life. Jesus worked many miracles. He turned the water into wine. He made the blind to see, healed the sick, and made the lame to walk. He raised the dead. He told the disciples, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. And then, therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and you, it will be yours. The prayers of the righteous availeth much. Jesus lived a sin-free life, yet his he was humiliated, scorned, beaten, hung on a cross, and he shed his pure, innocent blood for my sins, while at the same time asking God to forgive those who put him there. He taught us forgiveness. He said in Matthew 5, 39, But I say unto you that ye resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite you on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. He is the Lamb of God. John 3, 5, he said, Verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Jesus himself was baptized by John and the Holy Spirit come down like a dove upon him. That made it pretty clear to me that I needed to follow in his example and get baptized. I was washed in the blood of the Lamb, and it was the best day of my life. Amen. It was a new beginning for me. All my sins were gone. I have the Comforter with me now. I faced some pretty bad times in my life, but I knew that he was beside me, giving me comfort and walking with me through those valleys. He said, he will never leave me nor forsake me. I want to please my Lord. So I don't want to do anything that displeases him. I do not want to be guilty of crucifying my Lord anew. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns. He was, he is, and he always will be. I wake up in the morning thankful for all of my blessings and knowing that whatever the day brings, whether it be good or bad, I can be thankful because all things are from God. Even the high water that we apparently got at home, <laughs> uh, whatever it is, it's his will and it'll be all right. I can rejoice in his word. It is truth. I believe his promises. I'm thankful for his patience, forgiveness, answered prayers, blessings, and most of all for his mercies. My heart is full of love for my Savior couldn't resist or I couldn't be here without him. I want to glorify my God 
He knew me before I was born. He knows my every thought. He knows my heart. And it's a good thing because <laughs> been many a prayer I've started and I've said, well, God, you know what's in my heart and what I'm thinking. So let your will be done. Amen. Another scripture that I like is where he says, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, for I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I come again and will receive you unto myself, that where I am, you will be also. I've read the Gospels and about Jesus' birth, life, love, teachings, Miracles, forgiveness, mercy, of his death and resurrection, which without his resurrection, none of this would be effective. I studied it, but I would not have been able to understand it without your brethren who have been able to expand and explain these things to me. This includes my dear husband, and brother in Christ, Dave. I know this world is temporary, and in eternity I will have a much better life. I need to watch and be ready because we do not know when that day comes. I believe his word and every word written in the Holy Bible is inspired by God. I get very angry when I hear people say that the Bible has been rewritten so many times that it's no longer God's word but man's. God is all-powerful. I do not believe he will let any man take away from his word. Amen. King James Version says, And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of the prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from these things which are written in the book. Another scripture here, John 3.15, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. I am, by believing in him and doing his will, not turning from him, I will be seeing that place that he prepared for me.